Okay, you guys. Oh my god. 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 I'm freaking out. Okay. I am going to get what is called supportive oglio nucleotide therapy. S O T. I will definitely put a link down because I can't even pronounce it. And I uh, basically what is happening is uh, I found actually my health coach found this amazing nurse practitioner at this amazing integrative medicine place. There's doctors, there's everything, but this nurse practitioner specializes in SOT. SOT. I want to see say SOTS, like S O C K S. Um. Anyway, I, I'm in Orange County. Like I, I, I know. Like I'm already like a Republican. I don't even. It's crazy. Uh, it's far. <clears throat> Orange County. Okay, so I'm kind of leaving off where my phone cut me off when we were still in Orange County and. I'm home now and I just wanted to explain a little bit more about the therapy that I'm going to be starting in either a week or two. It's a genetic therapy and the blood goes to England. England is going to do a comprehensive virus scan <clears throat> and figure out which virus is strongest in me. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I think is the... Epstein Barr would be my guess, or it could be Lyme. And uh, I have several co infections. So, generally, when you're this sick for this long, I guess you end up with a lot of viruses. So, both of, both of my doctors, my old doctor and my new doctor, both think that I have several viruses. Um, that's why I'm so sick and I'm, you know, been bedridden for quite a while now. And this therapy basically will find, on the first run, they'll find, let's say, the Epstein-Barr virus is the strongest virus. So they're going to send that blood and all those results to Greece, and Greece is going to actually make this... I'm going to attach this video. There's a Let's great video a that explains that what it does. Use it's all about proteins, right? However, the most common cause of diseases are overproduction of specific proteins or production of a bad protein. Bad protein. Overproduction. The process of making a protein, good or bad, begins with the cell making a copy of DNA. So this is what they're going to do in Greece. This single-strand copy of DNA is called messenger RNA, or mRNA. mRNA. The messenger RNA travels outside the nucleus to the part of the cell where proteins are made. Proteins are then assembled based on the instructions carried by the messenger RNA from the DNA. For this reason, messenger RNA is the target of antisense drugs. After injection, the antisense drug moves to your bloodstream and travels throughout your body to reach your cells. So that's going to be delivered into me via IV. They're going to make that Inside each in cell, Greece. the drug binds to the targeted messenger RNA that is responsible for making the disease-causing protein. The binding process causes the messenger it's RNA to be broken down. This prevents the production of the disease-causing protein. Each antisense drug is different and targets only one messenger RNA. Just one. Antisense drugs only interact with targeted messenger RNA and do not interact with DNA or alter your genes in any way. Okay, so that's important. So that means that it's a targeted... So what I was saying, in England, they make... They say, hey, this is the virus that you're going to target, right? So they send it to Greece and Greece makes this special mRNA destroyer radness, rad sauce, we'll call it rad sauce. And rad sauce is specifically to destroy the strongest virus. So if that is Epstein-Barr, it is like, I am the killer of Epstein-Barr, ha <laughs> ha. And then Greece sends that to my doctor in Orange County, the amazing Ann Lee. And 
She then, via IV, which will only take about 30 minutes, will inject that into my blood. That will like hang out, like be like, oh, Epstein Barr, what's up? Oh, oh, hey, oh, we're friends. Yeah, mm, protein, yum, yum, mm, oh, ah, ah, kill, 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 kill. And it's going to kill the Epstein Barr. But these genes inside of me, these mRNAs are going to continue to replicate and replicate and replicate and replicate and replicate and replicate and there will be billions of them. So they will be killing the Epstein bar. So then in another six months, we go back and we find out which viruses are strong. Say at that point, Lyme is the strongest. So then it go again, it goes to Greece and they make the very special mRNA and then it would go back to my doctor and then into me right I have heard amazing stories about this of course I have done a ton of research and I will be doing more research I am hearing that the two weeks after the IV can be pretty atrocious. I am not scared of anything. <laughs> I'm really not at this point. I, I feel very strongly that this is going to get me well. I also feel like my attitude, what I'm doing in my life, my very strong goals and drive and this illness, this illness has brought me a whole new level of strength yet again. Every challenge I've had has made me stronger in my life. And I don't think that we even know how strong we are until we have the opportunity to be tested. And I never knew, I never knew that I was this strong. Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Click over there and the on the little pink me and you can subscribe and then you'll know when the next video is. I am going to be posting all along my progress with SOT and also my journey of becoming a professional public speaker the other thing I'm doing. So please subscribe. My website is courtrundell.com and I love you.